Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Tasty J and today we are doing a Five Guys mukbang. So I got Cajun fries, ooh, Cajun fries and I got a um, the bacon cheeseburger. And then I also, I don't know if you guys have seen on like TikTok when people get a grilled cheese sandwich from there and then they add like a patty and make it a burger. I got that too, right here. Then I also got a shake, an Oreo shake. I forgot to add whipped cream though, so. It's still good. So I got a, um, a large Cajun fry. And look at these. Like all those fries right there are just from the bottom of the bag. I haven't even emptied any from the actual cup that comes with it. So they gave me a lot, which I'm happy about because last time it was like they did you know, Five Guys is known to empty a bunch at the bottom of the bag. Last time I had Five Guys, they didn't do that. So, I'm happy. I'm just going to dive in because I'm hungry. And it smells good. I think I'll start with this. So with the bacon cheeseburger, I added um, grilled onions, lettuce, mayo, ketchup, mushrooms. And I actually have never had their bacon cheeseburger. I usually would just get like a regular burger and add stuff on it from here. And I never had mushrooms on their burgers either. I don't know. I want to do something different. Okay. Mm. So good. It's so good. It's like so cheesy. Mm -hmm. This is what I need it. So how are you guys doing today the day that i'm recording this is um <clears throat> february 12th so today is the day of the super bowl more importantly today is the day rihanna comes back on stage for her performance for the super bowl i'm so excited for it I want to guess, I actually wrote down what songs I think, or what songs I can see her performing. And I want to see, because I'm not uploading this till Thursday, so after the Super Bowl. But I want to see how accurate my guests are. But first, I want to prove to you guys, let me turn up my, body, my brightness. Just to prove to you guys that today, I don't know if you can see, is February 12th. Hopefully you can see that. So, it is February 12th. So, when I upload this, we'll see how accurate I was with my guests. But first, let me eat some more of this. Honestly, I really don't even notice the mushroom. Mm. Are you one of those people who like eat all their fries first 
and then their burger or they eat all their burger and their fries because my sister does that like she'll eat all her fries before going in to eat I guess the main meal the main part of the meal but for me I'm like I have to have a you take a bite of one take a bite of one and then you take a bite of the other I'm gonna take a bite of this. This is like, this is the grilled cheese one. I'll take it out. So you see, it's the grilled cheese, and you just add a patty and any other topping you want. So that's what I do. The people on TikTok were doing this. This is where I, how I found out about it. And it's actually good. It's just like a, a really cheesy burger. Mm. Okay. So first and foremost, I saw this TikTok, I don't know, like sometime last week maybe, and a guy was talking about, you know, like, people are just wondering if Rihanna's going to post, or I'm um, going to start with, what song she's going to start with, right? But some people were saying, like, if she's going to start with Lift Me Up, right? But he was saying that it's not likely because that's a new song so she's gonna start with something that people know and I think he said shut up and drive is what he thinks she might start with but I don't know I saw a lot of people saying that they think she will start with um please don't stop the music and I saw people making like their own I don't know version of how it should start with that song I honestly don't know what song she'll start with. Some people think she'll start with Run This Town. And the thing is, it's not like only, it's not only her song, you know? So at that point, it's like, if she did, it would probably only be like a small part of it. Because if she was to bring the guest out, like Jay Z. She wouldn't want to do it at the beginning, right? So I don't know what song she'll start with, but like I haven't even, I don't know. I guess I can see where people are going with like, please don't stop the music. I don't know, but one song that I feel like I haven't seen enough people talking about is Pum De Replay. I saw some people who were saying like they don't think she'll perform that, they don't, and I'm I'm just like, why wouldn't she? And that's what she came out the gate with, right? So it's kind of like I don't know if you guys saw like any clips from the interview she just did at the press conference about this performance, but you know she was like it's 13 minutes and she has this to squeeze 17 years of her work into that 13 minutes well to me it makes sense for her to at least have Pondy replay in there because that's where she started out so i think she will do it Oh, yes. 
aqui. I'm blue to I feel like it's like almost no bacon on here. Mm. I think she'll perform work. I don't think she'll bring Drake out. I don't know. I don't know where like their relationship stands or anything. But I don't I don't see her bring Drake out. We never know, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Some people are saying is she gonna bring Rocky out. I don't see her bringing ASAP out. The thing is, this is supposed to be about like, you know, this is when they show some of their biggest hits or whatever. And I feel like none of the songs that people think of when they think of Rihanna, none of them are her and ASAP, like on a song together. I know they have music together, but I don't think that's what people are thinking. I don't think she's gonna bring him out. <clears throat> I think she will perform We Found Love because that was a big song for her. She has a lot of songs. When you go through her like discography you see you realize oh she really does have hit after hit after hit after hit. So, I can see why even she's like, you know, it's hard to choose. I can see her doing Needed Me. And I for sure see her doing Diamond. I think she almost said that she has said that that was one of her favorite songs of hers. So, um, and it would be perfect too if she did damage because, you know, if it's all dark in the stadium and all you see is like a bunch of like cell phone lights and things like that, it fits this idea of diamonds, right? Like just twinkling. Okay, let me see. Okay, like I said, I think she'll do work. I can see her doing What's My Name. I just don't know <clears throat> if it's going to be. I don't see it as high. Um, Disturbia. I saw some people saying they don't think she'll perform that, but I actually think she will. I could see her doing it because that actually had a lot of success from what I remember. I remember it being like a song that was played a lot off of that album. But you know what, the whole album was good. That's one of my favorite albums I have. So, I definitely could see Disturbia. You know, it might not even be that she sits here and performs a whole good chunk of each of these songs. It could be just, you know, her having like a small clip or using it as like a transition into the next song. Only Girl in the World. I can see that. That and We Found Love, I feel like... Some of these songs, you just, like, back when they came out, 
you used to hear them everywhere right like in the store <laughs> when you're shopping on the radio on commercials like just everywhere so that's kind of what I'm thinking of when I'm like you know what songs do I see so for sure Pondy Replay for sure Diamond um we found love yes Disturbia yes Work yes <laughs> Needed me yes I actually don't <laughs> That's still a lot, right? Considering she's only had 13 minutes. Um, I don't even know how she made the decision. Because. She has hit on hit on hit. Like, if there's one thing Rihanna knows, it's a bop. I think. Because Lift Me Up is her. Was her comeback to music publicly. I think she for sure will include that at least a little bit of it because it's her most recent song so it'll get people to go listen to it right that's what you want to be streaming your <clears throat> your most recent music So, we'll see. When I upload this, and by then we'll know what she performed. But either way, I'm excited. I think... When Rihanna and when Beyonce, you know, like, take breaks, they're well-deserved, right? But I think that there's a special place in the industry for them and so when they're missing everyone feels it right it's the same way that so many like people were have been asking her when are you going to drop this album because what well, auntie came out i think in 2016 excuse me so Everyone's, you know, waiting. Everyone's waiting. And that album is such a good album. It's just... Like... You want to talk about a No Skips album? That is one album that I'm like... That's a No Skips album for me. Such a good album. Like, I see her... I can see her doing Needed Me off of there. At the same time, it's like... She... You know, she only has that 13 minutes, so no matter what she does, it's like she's only going to be able to put, I guess, like a little bit <laughs> of each song, right, that she does perform on there. But yeah, like I was saying, like, I think there's just such a... She's just very missed, right, in the industry. We went years of Rihanna just dropping album after album after album after album song after song after song after song and I think that's part of the reason too that you know her absence is felt more and you know I don't blame her she worked hard she has worked hard and now she's making all this money with Savage X Fenty and um, Fenty Beauty so I get it. This is a change of pace. She's making all that money. But we still miss you, girl. Miss your music. I know, like, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, 
I know some people were saying like whenever she does that. I know some people are saying whenever she just dropped music again, they wanted to be like reggae best. And I feel like she might have said something about it before too. And I feel like that would be a good album. Mm -mm -mm. Either way, I'm tuning in for it. Only for that. Y'all, like, I still have fries left. Sorry, this burger keeps sliding. And I still haven't touched these. I definitely did not need to get a large, but I just wanted to make sure I have enough since I was getting two burgers. Do you guys eat ketchup on your fries? I usually don't, but they gave me some. Let me see. I don't think I've ever eaten these Cajun fries with ketchup. So let's see. Mm, not bad, but I actually really like ketchup, but no, I feel like I can't have a burger without ketchup but I have fries without it and I feel like part of it too is I love potatoes and so I can appreciate a good fry because of how much I love potatoes The only thing I don't like about <clears throat> like Oreo shakes is the chunks getting caught in your straw. It's good. It's like the perfect amount of Oreo. Cause I've had some shakes before that were like Oreo. First of all, I love Oreo, like ice cream or cookies and cream, I guess, ice cream and shakes and all of that. <clears throat> you know, like if you go to a new restaurant and you're like, oh, I don't know what to try when it comes to like their ice cream or their shakes or whatever. If they have that on there, that's like a solid go-to. It's like how some people are like, when you go to a new restaurant, you don't know what to get, so you just go to Chicken Fingers. Some people do that instead of trying something new, you know, because it's a safe option. That's how, like, cookies and cream or Oreo shakes or whatever usually are. But some of the sometimes I feel like they leave them, like, way too chunky. So, like, you're literally just eating chunks of Oreo, which isn't bad, because sometimes it's like, oh, it's, <laughs> it's the spot, right? But other times, I'm like, this is supposed to be a shake. Let's make it a shake. Don't, don't be adding too much Oreo. So I'm just eating Oreos with a side of blended ice cream, you know? It needs to just be the right balance. And I feel like this is a good balance. Y'all, I'm getting full. Y'all know I'm getting full. It's okay. Cause I told my mom I was getting five guys and she said like, I'll just eat yours. So whatever I don't finish, she's gonna eat after. Like I said before, there's like no bacon on this bacon cheeseburger. The burger is still good, but it's not a good first impression if I think I'm getting bacon right. Mm. 
one thing about <clears throat> Five Guys, with their cheese, it gets like really, really melted and really good. You know, some places, some places when you get a burger, the cheese when it melt, it just becomes hard and. I don't know how to describe it. it. It just, you can tell it's not real. <laughs> you know, you can tell it's like not real cheese. But with Five Guys, I feel like theirs melts really well. And it just stays like soft and melted. I don't know how to describe it, but if you get it, you get it, right? <laughs> you get what I'm saying. I forgot to get ketchup on this grilled cheese one. It's okay. I'm getting full, but that is good. If you haven't done this, I definitely recommend it. The only thing is, it, it's kind of smaller than like their normal burgers because a smaller like sandwich, right? <clears throat> like in size. But I think the flavors and the flavor profile is definitely there. Chef's kiss. Okay. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up. Again, this is what we're left with. A decent amount of both. I'm just full. You know what, even if my mom don't want it, I'll eat it later. I'll eat it while I'm watching Riri perform tonight. Well, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and... I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.